Everyone, welcome to a game called Soko Chess. This is a game based off Sokoban and chess. So, left mouse to select the rook. And we can push the pawns toward the destination. Apparently not pushing them. Um, so, yeah. Can I get caught? Yep, I can. So, I can't allow that to happen. Do that to push it here. And then push that. And push it without, without the rook dying. Looks like we have to push against here, and maybe again, until we can do this. I don't know if there's like a min-move count, but yeah, we can do that. And it seems like we just push it. So that is more of a Sokoban aspect, that we can just push them like that. If we do that, no, there's no promotion there. Hmm. Okay. So, I want to push this all the way down here. There's some games that have been, that felt... A little bit similar to this concept, I suppose. Um, okay, we are going to need to push this upwards or something, and then into the, into this slot, because most of these pawns need to fit into their columns. But yeah, there's like... Um, Knight Errant, Chess Former, as, an ex as some examples of freaking games in this... Um, in a chess-inspired genre, although not the same mechanics. This is the first one I've seen. Whoops. Whoops. Actually, that, is, that was not a good place to push that pawn. The pawn actually deserved to be, like... Over here or something. And then we can get this in, maybe? Let's get this in here. Hmm, I still am not satisfied with where this pawn is. Oops, that will be a failure. Hmm. Yeah, this is crazy. This is a, not a very intuitive first puzzle right now. Hmm. Okay. Let's try to get that one instead stored up upwards. So instead of where that currently is, this should be more upwards even to the top nook. Problem is, we might have issues with getting across. Nope, that one is also failing. Hmm. Okay. Actually, I think I should have pushed it here at the bottom of this. So now we can push it up later. Oh my gosh, this thing needs to go around. But yeah, I think that position is much better because now I don't have to worry about it um, being captured as pawns can capture diagonally. And there we go. Alright, well, now what? We have, a, we have a regular pawn and we can push that. Hmm. Priority. A piece with a value of 1 will capture with before a piece with a value of 2? Okay. So we have some late priority going on here. Problem is that misstep is also misspelled. That's a that's a misstep on its own. <laughs> okay. Looks like we have more rooks than we even need, so we can try something like this. It will capture, which is fine. We don't need both rooks anyway. 1, 2, 3, 4. Hmm. So now we are playing with pawns only? Interesting. Okay, so looks like we can just like have those passively capture and then push the three and four rooks in, in a position. One, two, three. Hmm, can't push it from there. How will we get that rook out? Seems like it's impossible, but... Okay, we can like... Push this pawn here so it's out of the way, and then we can, like, prepare both rooks or something. This seems wrong, like, I'm just gonna get recaptured. I'm gonna, actually gonna put that in there first, and then let that get captured. And then that should just win the level. Yeah, okay, cool. So, how about we, um, oh, I don't reduce the volume there. We can also just, like, get it in position there, which is interesting. Surely we're not literally sacrificing all, although this pawn will have trouble getting down. Alright, so let's get this in. Hmm. This is going to have some issues, because like... Wow, seriously? Maybe we have to end the level on a sacrifice as well. Because that pawn is going to get... um. That pawn can only block that so much before we're, like, doing that. 
Maybe we need to go all across the other side to bring it back? That seems a little wrong, though. Yeah, that, that does not seem right to me. Hmm, right. Hmm, sacrifice all. One of the, our last move is definitely that kind of sacrifice, but... If I do this, I can actually, like, capture the Rook... No, no, you can't. It's just only pushing is allowed, not doing that. I have no idea what to do here, actually. Like, you can do that for sure, but what are you, what are you gonna do with the other pawn, exactly? I guess the other pawn can just be pushed to the right. I don't need to actually capture at the end. Okay. I think I finally got it. We are going to push that to the right. Um later on. Hmm. Like, this is not going to work out the way I want it to. That rook is really in a crappy spot right there. Hmm. Like, I want to, like, prepare that, but that pawn is just not gonna help there. Maybe I can do that? Nope, nope that was a bad idea. Hmm. Nope. I... I don't know about this puzzle. Wait, it, oh my gosh, that's the move I was missing, right? Oh my gosh, there we go. I just didn't notice you could do it from a farther range, but there you go. Alright, cool. Level 9 is done. Ah, nice, we're playing with bishops today. Hmm, but pushing there will definitely get me to lose. We need to go in this slot so that we don't just lose after getting pushed. It looks like we might be um, ending with a death or something. That one is rather stuck as well. We can't push like two at once or whatever. Huh. Oh wait, no, no, no. It's like this. There we go. Apparently I'm a pawn for finishing level 10. Okay, so pushing the pawn into a corner seems like a very bad idea. But where are we going to get a win anyway? That's just going to get the bishop dead, so no. Hmm. Well, we could even do like this, right? And I only tried doing that because, like, I can end with two, like a sacrifice on two. But other than that, I don't know where to proceed. That isn't quite the place I wanted to see that. Hmm. How about here? Alright, that looks good, right? That one last sacrifice really adds um, a layer of deception to the whole thing. Okay, all four pawns need to go there. Almost feels like I want to do that and get the bishop out later or something like that. But, anyway, three, the pawn three is not going there. I like how priority is also working as a way to, like, the like, described pawns. That's kind of cool. Mm. Anyway, all, like, the rook needs to freaking go on the other side or whatever, so definitely need that to happen. Maybe it's like this, and the rook, like, the rook dying is it's, like, the way it gets out. Okay. I wonder how fast these animations are. But yeah, we can do that. Alright. Get this two, and the rook sacrifices itself, so we can get the four out. There we go. Face death. That bishop is very close to dying. What happens here? Both are not immediately dying. Interesting. Um, hmm. We can do that to push it for one last move before that happens. And sacrifice. There we go. That's normal. Higher value pieces. All right. So now we're we're talking about rooks versus uh. Like, the chess piece values where pawn is 1, bishop is bishop and knight is 3, um, rook is 5, and queen is 9. Basically, that's, you know, that is a higher value piece on regular chess, and that is, I guess, what we're going for here. So, hmm. I, hmm, this is a complicated, like, starting position, um starting position 
Mm. Like, we want um, that rook to capture stuff so we can get it out. I don't know what we'll do on the, like, for future moves, though. Hmm. Also, that freaking pawn needs to move down. We have a ton of pieces. I feel like some of them should be used to push these to the sides. Hmm. I don't want that to happen. I want that to, like, go here. I don't know. Okay, that's just... Man. Yeah, that's just gonna make that go first, which is not good. It'd be better if it, they were uh, swap priority, but that is not that is not the case. Hmm. So piece of priority two will capture a rook first over a pawn or something. Interesting, like this pawn cannot even capture the one normally. Hmm. I don't like how it's like moving away from that um, from that corner. I don't know what I can do about it. These things don't move at this point. That that freaking rook needs to move away. Nope. I don't know how we'll get that to happen though. Hmm. And like this rook will also um blindly capture this, I guess. Like, what do we want? We want that two to come over here to make it easier to capture this, right? But Jeez. They really picked a hard puzzle for this one. No, the rook can't go over here to the opposite side. Like, this is just ridiculous, this one. Like... No, this is ridiculous. We're not, like, delaying it for it to, like, take a rook or something. This is silly. Maybe we do this to delay the time until one happens or something? Thing is like the rook is gonna no actually the rook did not grab it um also we've been here before damn it okay i feel like i don't understand this level at all um i i feel like i just like found a solution for it of course i undid to try to show it and therefore lost track of where the hell i was going but yeah um i think it was like this this um and now i did something with the two yeah, I was like, went here, pushed it off. Like, there! I guess that's the move that we have to use priority, except, um, except two would have eaten the rook anyway over the, in, instead of the third, the re, uh, bleh, what, are you kidding me? The pawn would already take the rook before as priority. Um, it, it's not like the rook and the pawn are at swap priority or anything, so... I have no idea what the hell that, um, that tooltip was, but there you go. So positioning matters, apparently. We have three, um, we have a bunch of bishops. Hmm. We need a bunch of bishops to go away. Hmm. Oh, no. That's some, uh, that's some serious nuance. That bishop can take either the top left or the... Or the bishop that I've just positioned here. It's, it's, it's decided to take that one. Hmm. That rook is going to have troll maneuvering over. Yeah, I don't know. This is tough. That rook needs to move as well, huh? How is that rook going to gonna move to, in place? I guess it would be some like here, here, and then we push that into position, and then try to get the other one in position as well. Oh, fur. Okay, so we have way too much stuff around here. What? Hmm. That bishop isn't getting out of there, huh? Maybe there's something we could do about that, maybe not. But that bishop needs to escape um, in order to get to the middle spot. 
Hmm. Interesting. Alright, this is clearly failing very hard right now. Like, that rook is just not in a good position to get in there. You have to push it again, but I don't know. Hmm. You can see another, like, tactic that would be cool is getting this rook pushed here or whatever, but... Okay, actually, like, we need all four in good positions. Just, like, barely notice that because the rook was uh, already in a in its correct spot, but yeah, we need all of them in their correct spots, huh? I guess I'll try moving this out of the way for the first move, but I don't know what else to do. That bishop is gonna have to move away anyway, so that's not a good idea. We, like, get this in or whatever. Hmm. Hmm. Maybe like here and then the... Oh. Let's ignore that bishop though. I think we got it. There we go. What is that? It looks like crack tiles that will... Okay, yep. In nice intuitive little mechanic there. And they even uh, trigger when you go past their tile. Alright. So that's the crack tiles mechanic. We only have a bishop here, huh? Hmm. These rooks can't actually target us, I think. Still, we need to do something about that rook on the three tile, I think. Hmm. Well, that was not being careful. We can try to make it go back, though. They can't target us over the edge, so that's, that's a good thing. But, hmm. Nope. This is, uh, this is a failure, huh? Well, I thought I wanted to do that first. I, I don't know about the other steps, though. So, hmm. How is this three gonna fit in? See, that looks so close. It's ridiculous. There we go. All right. Knight, there we go. How is the knight gonna push? It's gonna swap, is it? Huh. <laughs> of course it's gonna swap. Alright, so... I don't know how we're gonna get something there, though. I guess here? And then here. Alright, so knight just freaking swaps with stuff. Yep. Oh, what? What was that? So the crack doesn't even go away that time. Hmm. So swap keeps the crack on. We got a lot of crack tiles over here. Probably get this rook out of here, but other than that, I'm not sure what to do. That tile also just doesn't happen to be cracked at all. Could also do a sacrifice move near the end. Okay. Hmm. Not sure how much to use these crack tiles. If that's even a good idea. Oh, jeez. Okay, so we can do that. Hmm. Was that a good idea? We're gonna have a tough time swapping, but maybe. Okay, so now if we get a tie, um, a knight here, we win. All right, so that was just like random, some random moves did it, and now we have keys and locks, huh? Okay, well that was a bad idea to freaking get that to happen. And enemy pieces there do not affect that lock. Hmm. Okay, that worked, kind of. Okay. Uh, that means that this should have been pushed in earlier, huh? Way earlier, way earlier. But how? Okay, this pawn needs to be pushed in here at the very start, and then we can do all the other stuff. There we go. Oh, nice, we lose to Zugzwang. That's when... That's when being forced to move is like a bad thing. Should I have kept that on? Hmm. No. Alright, so that was just easy. Traffic jam. Alright, so it looks like that 
Looks like we need to get that lock open, but... Is it a really good idea to do that now? We can even swap at that point. To, like, I don't know, do something later. Not sure what we do later, though. Hmm. That pawn looks like something I'd want to swap, but... I don't know. Or, or at least, like, something needs to take it. Which also makes sense. Yeah, I don't know right now why it's like this. Hmm. And, like, that rook doesn't even get taken. I guess maybe we just do that to delay it for a turn, which should be good enough, because we do that. Oh, for, of course it's not enough. That will get it taken. That's not a good idea. Very bad sign. Hmm. I don't know, can we, like, distract that? It's interesting, because we also, like, try that. We, it does need to end in that position, too. Hmm. Hmm. Well. I don't see a way. We need that rook in where that lock position is, and unless we are... Really committing to this swap. I don't know what I can do. Hmm. Actually, that pawn can continue to block it. Like, I can do that. Which is interesting. Um, you know, because I can keep that in position. But other than that... Like, now this pawn has some trouble getting out of here. So, I don't know if that's a really good idea. Of course, I can't actually capture these things because we're... It's Soko Chess. Hmm, I actually didn't quite realize that, oh, frick, well, that was a bad idea, but, like, the bottom of that could potentially be used. Um, problem is, like, okay, maybe it can't. Maybe I can't just swap it in here after all. Wait, I can just, I can do this. Hmm, that was, um, that's very strange. Also, not working at all, because the knight can't get out, but still. This looks, whatever, I'm just gonna do that. I don't- I have no idea where to go now, because that thing can obviously not be pushed. <sighs> I thought that was, like, the whole point. Where we would set something up there. Now it can barely get the key. Wow, this is really cursed. Maybe it's the position of the bishop and rook at the start that, like, is relevant? I don't know. Like, yeah, let's get it- let's get out of the way. It just doesn't really help. I got the rook taken here, but I'm actually concerned we'll be doing it on this side instead. I, I have no idea. Hold on. I can't block that off right here now. That's very interesting. Um, yeah, that's very interesting. Not like it's going to help, though. I don't know what to do here, but um, for some reason I never thought that was just like, you just delay it here, and then you can do something about it. Oh my gosh. Jeez, why was it so much simpler than I thought? Uh, jeez. Okay. Ridiculous. It was just about um, giving the, the rook one turn to move. Alright, so. This looks like... This is the closest to a normal chess game that we've gone so far, huh? Um, unfortunately, we still... We cannot take them. We, we, we have never, ever been able to take them. But yeah, yeah, here we go. Hmm. Do we have it yet, or am I just, like, being silly? I guess, like, we should try to push them, right? There's one that needs to go real far down, and all the other ones, I don't know what to think about, but... Hmm. I guess, like, the bishop probably needs to push these, but the, the immediate problem with that is... Uh, hmm. Is that the bishop at the 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 dark color bishop needs to go um, up there, which seems very hard. Also implies we might have messed up the early moves, but I don't know. Hmm. The game is actually starting to more resemble checkers than anything. Yeah, I don't know. Maybe my first move was good. I don't know. 
we need to get stuff out of the way hard, and this just isn't it, so. Or we can get the two to take those. Which is nice, I guess. No, pawns don't promote. They still have never ever done that. So what? Now is it easier to get these out and out of their corners, or it's still just this hard? Hmm. That pawn is also like not in a good spot to do anything with uh with it. Do that and get that in place. Huh. Okay. So, are things better now? I can, like, do that, and... Hmm. Now this bishop has trouble getting out. Wait, this is gonna work? I think this is gonna work. Nice. Also, definitely the only... Ah, great! Queen. I wonder if king is gonna arrive here, but yeah. Movement is speed is like a little bit slow, perhaps. Alright, so what do we do here? Well, we can obviously push this in freaking anywhere we want, really, but still need to be a little careful to not just immediately die like that. <laughs> so I don't know if we like try to push that throughout through its diagonals or what. Maybe that's something I should have done a lot earlier. Um, is that three wasn't there originally. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, seems like we're going to have a tough time getting that rook into place. Okay. Hmm. But that three is something I wanted to get stuck here, right? Oh, jeez, stop it. Let's get that in here. But now I, I want that rook out of here. I still don't know if I can actually make that work. And that three is like... In a tough situation as well. I guess maybe here. Alright. Maybe something like that. No. Hmm. We use the 4 to blockade the view and then we do it? Okay, that looks very good. Nice. Okay, we have these. We needs to be a needs to escape. Because there is a pawn target at the bottom. Unless, like, this is a troll in the night go is the thing that swaps with it. <laughs> Always gotta watch out for the trolling. Also, I don't know how some of these are gonna get themselves out of here. Hmm. Wow, this was a really bad time to have capture cursor not on. Too many freaking scenes and too many freaking games, I swear. Anyway. Hmm. Should we just prioritize trying to get that key right now or something? Because, uh, we're having a hell of a time trying to get those. Hmm. We need everything in the correct position. I don't know if it one night is enough or we need more, but, hmm. God. There we go. There's that opened. Uh, don't know if we should be satisfied with that, but right, let's get this out. We still need two pieces that are, like, capable of getting this down. I'm not even sure how those pawns at the top are getting down, so... Unless we get, we're dragging some of these, uh, these pawns are, that are already in their targets back using the knight, I'm not sure what to do. Or we can do that. Hmm... All I'm hoping for is that we can eventually get some of this down. We do have a lot of maneuvering room, I feel like. Well, at least a good amount of it. Like, we'd want something like that, except, you know... Actually, this one needs to get pushed first, huh? And then we get this in a position, and then we hope to get that queen to be the one that does that. That seems to open up a lot. That's making me more confident this was the right choice. Uh huh. Okay. That needs to be pushed like up and over, which is not good. Unless we're sacrificing something to do to make it happen. Wow, that was a bad idea, huh? See, that was my worry that we're spending too much to make this work. Nope, we're not doing that. Um, alright. 
No. Okay. Don't know if getting that out of the way is even that good, but. Okay, that too is like protecting it too hard as well. Hmm. Damn, that too is really well protected. Um, that was probably a bad, uh, bad idea to keep it here. Hmm. Can we like get the get one of the ones in position or something? That'd be better, right? Like, even though we have three pieces, I have no idea how we're going to make this work. Damn, alright. What the absolute heck. I'm going to try that. And then try to get that in position. But I also kind of don't like it. Like, the whole point of this is... We can somehow get one of the like the knight in position without ruining everything else, like something like that, and then we push that in a position. That is something I want to see happen. All right, and I think that's actually really good. Hmm. I wonder if we can have an easy time or not. Okay. There's a lot of shuffling you have to do in this game, huh? This doesn't seem like the kind of puzzle with a, with a really defined solve. Alright, we can do this, and there we go. Nice. Well, uh, there's... We can do that, or, like the, or this move. I want to do that unlocking at some point, and I don't know why the edges are here. That's very strange as well. But yeah, that needs to be unlocked for sure. Sometime that needs to be unlocked. But the rook is guarding all of the spaces that we'd want at the start. The bishop is also guarding half of them too. Alright, this is really not working. The bishop is guarding a ridiculous amount of squares. And I can't say the rook is doing that well either. We can use those to maneuver, I guess. Alright, can we get this bishop out of the way? Like, it is really bothersome where that bishop is. And it's still bothersome now. Hmm. Nope. That's a bad idea. And so is that. We are pretty screwed. That undo should, like, be buffered or whatever. Hmm. We also have these crack tiles, but... I don't know what they're doing there. Hmm. How can you possibly be very mindful of this? Hmm. Wait, this tile can it can okay, that tile can make its way over here. I don't know if that's what you need to do, but hmm, that bishop has that space. And I feel like the bishop should just try to get in there normally. Like that. And hopefully there's no issues further along, but Okay. Let's try to get to one of those crack tiles now, but it might be hard. Obviously, the rook is definitely deep in the way. Or maybe we should swap here? Nah. Okay, maybe not. Maybe there's still issues there. This does not seem very good. We're shuffling around a ridiculous amount, and the rooks are uh, really getting in the way. Hmm. No. That's awful. But where is this going? Putting in the middle row sucks half the time. And like obviously I want to use these crack tiles. There's a reason they're there. I just don't see a path for me right now. I definitely don't regret this bishop position right now though. See, I should be kind of mildly happy about that, maybe, but. <sighs> Jeez. Having trouble getting out now. <laughs> yeah, great. That totally doesn't look like where things were originally. Although maybe like good doing it from the other side could uh could be better for something. I don't know. Okay, that wasn't very good. 
Like, finding a way to the other side, like, here without getting caught, seems like it might be good. Maybe the bishop is using a blocker, but I don't know. Like, a line of sight blocker. Oh, I can stick the rook in there. Is that actually a good idea? Yeah, I mean... We are in the same spot, aren't we? Wait, but I can now jump here. That's, uh, very interesting. That looks good. Um, but also very risky. I don't know if I can recreate it with the other one, though. Hmm. Definitely something to pay attention to. Oh my gosh. Ridiculous. Yeah, now I can't do that, huh? Hmm. Wait, hold on. This is just like... This is the work where we can die to win. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> Whoops. There you go. There's, there it is. Imprisoned Rooks, level 29. We got three Rooks sitting around. Doing that opens the crack. So maybe we should just not do that right now. But we should also like want to set up the pawns in a good way. Hmm. We do that immediately. That seems kind of bad. Does he want to crack at least one open? Not sure about the other ones, though. And, uh... Okay, we can do that. That seems like a bad idea, though. Um... If the queen stays on the crack, that's, like, fine. Whoops, I misclicked. I meant to go here. Oh my gosh, whoops. Okay, can we just get those... No, the queen will just freaking, um... Go there earlier. So I want to do this and then this maybe, and then try to push this diagonally. Nice. There we go. Queen's guards. Four pawns all in crack tiles. The pawn can't diagonal capture that. Huh. Okay, so that immediately went to go grab a... The knights are immediately trying to go for the pawns. The cracks mean I can't make it over that gap anymore. That was a, not a good sign. Hmm. But still, only the queen is capable of, like, getting that, right? So I don't know what the point of doing this is other than, like, to delay, potentially. Of course, it'd be nice to get... Uh, well, it'd be nice to not get everything cracked there. I don't know if there's anything I can do about that, though. Like, pushing it out of the way is interesting, because it lets me get out of this situation. Okay, that looks good. Alright, nice. Okay, we have a new shield mechanic, interestingly, which I guess that blocks attacks, but this video has been long enough. We've done the first 30 levels, just like three worlds or whatever, so there you go. That's That was Soko Chest. Um, hope you enjoy. Bye.